name is Fat Mike, I'm an old punk rocker Who's more well known for being a shit talker A troublemaker and iconoclast I thought I'd do more damage with my own podcast Hi, this is Sam And it's Fat Mike And we're doing our podcast again Isn't it exciting, but these are shorter And we're having more fun Speaking of shorts, I'm wearing some <sighs> I'm wearing Drink. a <sighs> skirt. Anyway, what you got? It's a Rolling Rock premium beer. Uh, we're going to listen to a song called Defcons, yeah. which is a co-defendant song, which uh, I really like. And uh, all the songs on the co-defendant album we worked on together. Yeah. But you didn't like this one, did you, Sam? Yeah. Well, why? Because you don't like me. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, there's, there's different, there was different levels. For one, it's not the song that it sounds like now when I first fucking heard it. And also the engineer at the time was, uh, having beef with you and the engineer. And he had, uh, was actively putting like the wackest, like maramba solos over my lyrics and sh- like fucking with all of our songs. Anything what is a maramba? It's a maramba, bro. It's like a, it's like a xylophone, but it's or like a hydrocolator. Yeah, I know. I understand. You know, it's all good. So, but so, I heard this and I hated it. I fucking hated it. Like, this song isn't even going on the record. And, and they did prison camp like that too. Prison. I'll play. We should. I wish we had the fucking. Original. We could do that next. Yeah, we'll do that next. We're gonna play the the prison camp that he sent me the same time I got that song that left a bad taste in my mouth. This song is now. Probably, Are we talking about Maz? <laughs> What are we gonna get sued? I don't. I don't know, man. By France. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna put on this song, Defcons, which uh, at the end Sam was like, "Yeah, I'm okay with it being the first song on the album." Yeah, it's one of my favorite songs. Man. Yeah. Here we go. It's going. Uh. Uh. Open up this vein like an old cold razor blade. Survival isn't pretty, it's flesh hanging off a fang. What a great lyric. Hard not to butt that hand when it's all that's left to eat. Strip the meat off every finger that's ever gotten close to me. Sam yells, listen, for no reason. Try to steal some nut before the music crashes back down. What's crazy about that, um, that Keith, when he was playing that, he's from New York. And he was a, no, he was a fucking, he was a, uh, a bucket drummer in the subway, and he couldn't get the rhythm. And we kept smoking weed, and then the fucking dude was like, oh shit, we, we turned the reverb on and he was getting an echo. Playing on guitar. Put on some, put on some shorts. The way you just make singing is so much harder. Wait, <laughs> gets for fucking around, dude. Look what you did to Chris. Look what you just did to Chris. Look what you're doing to him. You can always just shoot yourself in the face. It was a ghost scratch. No, that's funny. I don't care. Problems you never learn your lessons. Sometimes the struggle can bring answers to your questions. It's a long, cold road. You got one. Never let them break you. Without problems, you never learn your lessons. Sometimes the struggle can bring answers to your questions. It's a long, cold road. Never let them break you. No. 
So, pause this. The thing that's what I wanted to talk about in the song is how there's these, there were really cool guitar chords originally, and we ended up taking them out. Remember how we, we uh, you write a song with guitar chords, and then you take them out if you don't need them anymore. Because we had the bass and the vocals, and... Go get them. Go get them. Go get them. Yeah, so the chords were, they were this. Yeah. But it's not in the song anymore. Yeah. And those are those are neat. You you getting all this? You see it. Without problems, you never learn your lessons. That the struggle can bring answers to your questions. It's a calm, cold world. Never let them break you. Yeah. So that and but those chords are not in the song because the bass kind of covered it, and it's nice to have guitar chords. Oh, writing a song and if you can take them out and let the rest of the song do the work. Oh, absolutely! It's kind of a cool way to do it. But I, I needed to show those chords. Uh, it's also a great way to like you like having problems like learning. Like getting a new song out or you keep like me it's like i always have the same chords the way i get out of it is that i'll listen to some music that i normally don't listen to like linda ronstadt or some shit and try to play a bass line that they're doing because they're going to be doing something completely different and you'll get an idea for like a chord change that you never think about yeah but you actually you said it to me you said now we have the song down and these chords let's take the guitar chords out yeah and see where it goes yeah because then you, you could put you other notes floating see floating. he's he seems like a dumb dumb but sounds really smart you're, you're a smart dumb you're We have the video. We have the videos for Defcon Two that fucking Ryan and them did, as well. So, yeah, there's videos. Should we watch them? Not now. These tickets are supposed to be like five, seven minutes long. Oh, yeah. Just leave. I just peed. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Fat Mike. I'm an old punk rocker who's more well known for being a shit talker, a trouble. I thought I'd do more damage with my own podcast.